relative to dealing with issues of unfair child labor, things that have become a part of American culture and American way of life, intended oftentimes are under attack as people try to take back these rights and things that have been won through the labor movement. So understanding the labor movement, its trials and tribulations, its successes, and its contributions, I think is central and key to this effort that we're about to embark on. But I have to tell you there's one more thing that I think is critical. And that's the sense of the importance of work. The nobility of putting in a good day's work. Producing something. Being a part of a collective whole that provides services, goods, or whatever the case may be. Sometimes I hear from young people that they think people that work 40 hours a week or 9 to 5 are sort of stooges. Something's been gotten over on them. That working's not a good thing to do. We all know that in this world today, when you look at what's going on, we're not just competing amongst ourselves, we're competing with other nations. So in that competition in this world that they now call as flat, having good workers, having educated workers, having technical savvy workers is critical. And I'll just give you one small example. I went to the IBEW electrician's training program, apprenticeship program over in Commerce. And they said of all the people that come and, be, come and want to be a part of the apprenticeship program, there is a threshold issue that's critical that you have to pass in order to become an apprentice. And that threshold issue is algebra. Is algebra. So if you look at these issues of trade, if you look at these issues of careers, what we're talking about is advanced education. Advanced education, whether people do their work with their hands or not, all of the calculations done in every aspect of work now requires an advanced education. So here at this college we provide that, but here at this college we are now going to integrate into it an understanding of the critical importance and contributions of the labor movement and the world of work. So welcome. We are very honored to have our special guest, Dolores Puerta, with us here today, but also want to uh, thank all of you that helped put this together and help, help us in the future advance this program, have more classes, and develop this at every one of our campuses. Thank you very much. <laughs>